Hey, what's up YouTube? Today we're talking about one of my favorite pairs of sneakers. These are obviously a Nike Kevin Durant collab and I think they're a cool pair of sneakers. These were released in 2015 for about $200 retail. I waited a while and I believe I purchased these for about $140, $150 a few months after they came out. I'm seeing them on StockX for around $225 and I'm seeing them on eBay for around $220. So they appear to have increased in value over the past five years, which is a good thing for anyone who's held on to them. They came out with a bunch of different colorways, more than you might expect. I'll show you some now. As you can see, there's some really dope ones and some pretty ugly ones, but you can't win them all and you can't please everyone. That being said, there are a ton of different pairs in this montage that I would love to have in my collection. Now I've shown you a bunch of different styles, but out of all the styles, the Woven Wonder was special. And from what I know, it only came out in two pairs, white and the pair we're talking about today called the Black Gold. You could tell when you see them that they're a special pair made with higher quality standards and better materials. Now I've been wearing these regularly for five years. I will say they are not the most comfortable sneakers. Uh, they do have the Nike Zoom on the sole, but I would say it's pretty hard. If you stand in these all day, there's there's not a ton of cushioning, but I still like them a lot because of the style and the silhouette. The wax coated rope laces almost feel like leather and you could see they were hit with some gold aglets, which I always love. Now the other area you could see a major gold hit is on the tongue with the giant KD logo. They went big with this, but wearing these with jeans or sweats, it, it, the gold really pops off these. It's a cool look. You have Flywire cables uses the lacing system for a snug fit if needed, but I wear these pretty loose. I don't even tie them. I don't I don't ball in these. I like to preserve these. As I've said in the past, I wear busted sneakers when I play ball and I like to keep these in good condition. So I wear them nice and loose. But if I tightened them up, they'd be very supportive on court. They do have a wide stance. Typically I don't like to play ball in low tops in general, but these I wouldn't be too worried about as long as I'm wearing them tight. So we talked about the black woven upper. You also have these crimson and hits on the midsole which are a really nice touch and then you have gum bottoms at the bottom on the outer uh, these are very lightweight they have the nike zoom sole and some people may not know this but if you look super close on the front i don't even think you could see it on camera you'll see the words 35. this is a number kevin durant wore throughout most of his basketball career it's not just a number he picked out of the air it actually has a lot of significance to him he wears that number in honor of his childhood coach and mentor Charles Chucky Craig who was sadly and unfortunately gunned down at the age of 35 while trying to break up a street fight. Since then the number 35 has held great significance for Kevin Durant and in my opinion it's a respectable way to honor someone who's helped him achieve such greatness and such success in life. Now Kevin seems to have the theme of doing this honoring people when he creates sneakers because if you see on the bottom if you look on the outer very closely you will see the names Barbara, Wanda, Wayne, and Tony. Hopefully you could see that. Now those are Kevin's family members. They're his grandmother, his mother, his father, and his big brother. I think that's really cool way to honor your family. Going around back of the sneaker, the heel has this cool saber tooth look. It looks like you have two big saber tooth teeth. That's on pretty much all the KD8s and I think it's actually a cool look. Going back to the outer, if anybody knows me or seen my other videos, I love gum bottoms, but this has a wave pegged pixel-like tread that is extremely tight. Uh, before I even shot this video, I plucked countless pebbles out of this sole. I even found a little screw from a pair of eyeglasses wedged in there. So you will catch tons of stuff walking around in these. It's a very lightweight pair of kicks. On the inside, it used to have Kevin Durant's signature, but I wear these so much that it's since wiped away. Two of my favorite things about these sneakers, one thing is they're not leather. No one had to die for these, so that's great. The other thing is these don't crease. I would never usually do this with a pair of sneakers, but I'm not worried because these will not crease. They've held their shape. I've worn these thousands of times since I bought them. These are one of my go-to pairs. I wear them all the time. And beside the laces, they're in really good shape. They've held up really well. And I appreciate a pair of sneakers that can stand the test of time and take some abuse, but still look fresh. They're also pretty easy to clean. Usually I just wipe them down. Every now and then if I do scrub them, I would tell you scrub these with an extreme 
extremely soft bristle brush because this woven basket weave upper will start to get fuzzy and fray a little and that could ruin the sneaker. So I usually go very light on top. When it does get a little fuzzy, I have to actually just take a cigarette lighter and just run it over it really, really fast and just burn away any of that fuzz. And that keeps them looking pretty good. Overall, the KD8s are one of my favorite pairs of sneakers. I like them a lot. I wear them with a lot of things. Let me know what you think about these KDs in the comments below. And also let me know what your favorite pair might be. I'd love to hear from you. Before I go, I'll show you some more shots on foot and some pan arounds. And as always, I ask you to please subscribe. Please ring the notification bell so you can be notified when my next videos drop. And also check me out on Instagram at E21Life. I'm always putting up pics up there and always giving heads up on some of the next content. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next vid. Peace everyone and stay safe.